Come on, let's go check in. Hi, are you Jean? I am. Okay, James. nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. Jessica. And, and this is Dove, my husband. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice yeah. we're story. checking in to get our washer and dryer. It's installed. all Friday, yes. correct? Head on out. All right, awesome. Let's go. This looks like it's going to be an easy process. Hey guys, I'm Jessica. And I'm Dub. And we're a family of nomads. We're a family of five living in our camper, traveling full time. And we got the washer and dryer installed. Our brand new washer and dryer. <laughs> we uh, actually had this washer and dryer installed at Camping World. This is the same brand washer and dryer that we had in our previous camper. And a lot of people that we know that travel full time use this Splendide brand uh, stackable washer and dryer combo. And as you can see, everything's pre drilled. You just line it all up. And that's how your washer is going to sit in. Back plate's going to go up underneath here. And then the front plate's going to be like that. And there's three little screws that came with the kit. It goes right into the front of your dryer and it keeps it all nice and secure. So, what I did, I made a pre measurement on the outside of the front flange of the uh, camper to where the end of the awning arm is so I know my distance on the inside here which is right there at seven inches okay. um, right here I use my stud finder make sure that I'm gonna have enough clearance for the uh, vent okay. so I've got studs here we got studs right here so all this is open area for me to drill so I roughly marked right around here to make the bend, depending on the height of the camp of the uh, washer and dryer. Okay. I'm making us some bomb diggity sandwiches and almost going grace, grace and eyes, eyes and graces. Cut some tomatoes, we're gonna have some lettuce and yeah, they look really good. All right, here's your sandwich. Put it right there for you. And here's mine, it's really good. Addison, how do you like your sandwich? Grace, TJ? Uh -huh. We are switching out the outlet because the original outlet was just a one. Yeah, because there's a washer and a dryer. Yeah. Yeah. Something like so that. So I'm doing a polarity test, making sure that there's electricity flowing on both circuits. And we're good. Whew, I'm glad I didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we are sitting here at the Camper World parking lot. I'm editing some videos and they are still working on our washer. They're about to bring in the dryer. It is very hot in here because we're only running one air conditioner and do you know what temperature it is outside? Low 90s. Low 90s, it's very hot and we're in Maine. I didn't even know Maine got this hot, but here we are all sweating and they are about to bring in the dryer. I'm really glad that we did take it to Camping World to get the washer and dryer installed because they've actually run into a few issues with like the size of the closet, having to take off multiple doors only one outlet being in the closet and so they had to actually install an additional outlet and we've been here much longer than anticipated so i'm really glad that this is in really good capable hands for camping right. to take care of this because it made this process a lot easier and we get to get some work done while they are working on our washer and dryer but they are about to bring the dryer in i'm really excited to finally have our washer and dryer hooked up and see how this all goes I am so glad that we do not have to do this. Do you remember when we installed the washer and dryer in our other camper yes. and how hard we struggled bringing all this stuff in? It was so hard and it took you what, two days to get it installed by yourself? Two days, yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad we don't have to do this by ourselves again. This is so much easier. Why are you hold up in here? We're getting there. Yeah? <laughs> Making progress. Hello couple of misadventures, but there were adventures. Uh, yeah. Making sure that there was no leaks, testing the okay. washer, making sure that we have enough room for the dryer hose. Okay. And uh, so we're just gonna mock it up, see if we have clearance. Okay. And then get it all buttoned up, make my hole for the vent. I'm so glad that we don't yeah. have to do this. Like, can you imagine just like, cause we didn't even have to stack them before and now they're stacking them. Yeah. They had to take the, the doors off. So it's obviously not ideal for the washer and dryer to be forward facing without anything covering it. 
but honestly opening up a door to open up more doors to wash with laundry isn't actually like you know yeah, super simple to do it's just like adding an extra step unnecessarily and i feel like i could live with it looking like this it doesn't look terrible it fills the gap very nice to work. yeah it fills you the really gap don't notice nicely. that there should be a door there no uh -uh. no and there's such limited space right in here there. anyways yeah. ah, having those doors right there to get to the washer and dryer would honestly make things really crazy yeah. Yeah. in this already small space i mean we're just living in a camper it's a small space um even though we're in a 47 foot camper it still is a, you know as a camper just like that now you gotta drive it this is a bonded wall this is all the fiberglass, this is the outer shell. Obviously, there'll be wood paneling on the inner side. That's roughly how much insulation is in your campers. About an inch and a half of insulation. Yep, roughly. Keeps you warm during the winter. Cool it during the summer. In With theory. The, in theory. Yeah. <laughs> I did a four and a half inch hole on the side of your camper. Okay. <laughs> For the dryer vent. Um, so right now, I'm just hooking up the good old dryer hose to the side so once we get the dryer in I have access to get to the back. Okay. Hook it all up, mount it to the front, and then you guys will be set to go. Alright. One step closer. One step closer. <laughs> well with all the adventures that we had in this today, I think we're at a success. <laughs> Overall, this was like a really good experience having Camber World install it. I did feel really bad for the guys because it was really, really hot that day. But they did a really excellent job. They were all super kind. They, very professional. Yeah, very professional. Very professional. They knew what they were doing. Overall, we are just really excited to have a washer and dryer in our camper. One of the reasons why we love having the washer and dryer in the camper and not going to the laundromat is hands down because of the amount of money that we save. It all depends on what laundromat you're at. Some across the country are, Some are very, very expensive. We were probably spending like $150, $200 a month. Easily. Yeah, at minimum. Minimum. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jessica. And I'm Doug. And we're a family of nomads. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos and the notification bell so you get notified about future videos that we post. And we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Guys.